Black Owana College football welcomed back a former player today at the school. Yeah, Bryant McKinney is known as one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL and in college football. Fox 56 Sports Director Bob Ide caught up with him after the big event. The best football player ever at Lackawanna College returned to Scranton today as part of Black History Month. Brian McKinney played for the Falcons in the late 90s before moving on to bigger and better things. Today, the 44-year-old spoke to the public and the student athletes about his experiences. A great feeling to be able to come back. I, I feel like when I'm here, you know, while you're here, you're in the middle of doing it, you don't really get a chance to like look back. But now when you look back, you kind of see like the different accomplishments you had. Kind of like, oh, wow, <laughs> you know, so um, great feeling. And then it's just like, I feel like it's good for the kids to be able to see somebody who was where they were and how far you can go. Um, it's just, just don't put any limits on yourself, you know, just go out here and kind of be, be really committed and, and just be consistent and, and work hard, you know, keep sharpening your craft. After Lackawanna, McKinney went on to the University of Miami, where he won a national title and then was the seventh pick in the 2002 draft. He played for Minnesota, Baltimore, and Miami in the NFL, winning the Super Bowl with the Ravens in 2013. He knew the league was a business right from the start. You don't have that luxury to, to get too comfortable because at any given moment, somebody can come in and you know you could be replaced. Um, so j just learning a lot and learning that it's business at the end of the day. Um, and you have to do what's best for you from a business standpoint because the team will do what's best for them. While McKinney credits Lackawanna College for his football foundation, it's after football that he's really excited about. He's been nominated for Grannies, and he even runs his own foundation. Oh, yeah, because music was uh, always a passion of mine, and like I said, being kind of competitive, I, I didn't want to go into music and be like some of the other athletes who they felt like, you know, the industry just felt like, oh, they're just wasting money on friends who don't have any talent. Well, I actually have a great ear, and I can pick, like, you know, talent out, you know, so... I wanted to put my best foot uh, forward in doing that, and then the fact that I got nominated for three Grammys was like, oh, there's nothing else to be said. Like, they appreciate the work, you know. So having that, you know, under my belt just made me feel good. And then my foundation, um, then I do four, four to five events per year um, back in Florida, which I'm looking to eventually start expanding to other areas that I've had impacts on. And, and like, talking with Coach Duda, even start doing more things, you know, back at McKinney Hall just because I was able to be there. Bob Eyed. Fox 56 Sports. Last year, McKinney was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame, becoming the only Lackawanna College player to have that honor.